Once upon a time, not too long ago, in a country not too far away, a small publisher was living in a small brick house in the countryside. <laughs> it was so beautiful out in the country, and authors of all shapes and sizes and from all over the country came to the publisher with ideas and content. The content covered every school subject, from math and science to language and history, from religion and philosophy to lit literature and the arts, and the content was put into wonderful textbooks for everybody in the country to read and enjoy. In his house, the publisher had a cow that was able to perform very elaborate processes to digest the content that was fed by the publisher. The result was that the content could be printed on thin sheets of paper and put into beautiful paper books. The books were read and used by teachers and students all over the country, and ideas and knowledge flowed from authors into the minds of students of all ages. All was good, and the publisher collaborated with authors and teachers to continuously improve the paper books. As time went by, the little brick house grew too small for the publisher, and he had to move to the big city. On his way to the big city, he met a small, ugly horse. There was something intriguing about the horse, and the publisher decided to bring the horse with him to the big city. <laughs> Once arrived in the big city, the publisher settled down in a house that was big enough for all the content on all the books. The little, ugly horse watched in amazement how the cow turned content into beautiful books. The cow, on the other hand, did not deign to even look at the little ugly horse. Time went by, and more authors came to the publisher with content that was put into paper books that covered an even wider range of subjects than before. Many more teachers and students were eagerly reading the books and acquiring new knowledge about all things big and small. The little horse was grateful for living with the publisher, but it wasn't getting much to eat. The authors weren't very keen on letting the publisher feed the content to the horse, they preferred that all the content was given to the cow and put into paper books. But things were changing in the country. An author started to come up with content that the cow was unable to put into books. The content wasn't real content, the cow proclaimed, and refused to consume it. The new content was simply ignored by the cow, and it was left lying on the floor. One day, the little ugly horse was very hungry, and it tried to eat some of the leftover content. The horse liked it, and it started to produce something that wasn't ordinary books, but rather something that made it possible for teachers and students to interact with the content in new and unexplored ways. The horse grew bigger and stronger, and the things it produced improved day by day. The teachers liked the new interactive content and started to use it to complement the paper books they were still using to teach the students. The cow still didn't deign to look at the little ugly horse and the stuff it created. The horse was an open horse, and it was able to adapt to all kinds of content and could learn new tricks for making the content even better. The publisher got an idea. What would happen if the horse was given some of the real book content and some of the new content at the same time? No one knew what would happen, but that didn't hold back the publisher, and he fed the horse some book content and some new content. From this, the horse produced a completely new kind of learning material, an interactive book containing both the content of a traditional book and the interactive content. Teachers and students loved the interactive book because they could learn and interact with things in new and interesting ways. The horse kept on transforming all kinds of content and produced beautiful interactive books. How does the horse do it, the publisher wondered. He looked into it and he saw that the horse is able to categorize and structurize the content in its, in its body. This internal categorization makes it possible for the horse to filter and export the content to different media platforms <laughs> and utilize the features and strengths of each platform. The horse is also able to combine sections from different books and make them into a new book. As far as the horse was concerned, a paper book is just another media platform, and the horse started to put content into paper books. At first, it was stumbling a bit, but before long, it was making paper books just as beautiful as the ones the cow could make. Seeing the books the horse produced, both on paper and in other browsers, the cow realized that it had been too narrow-minded and had failed to keep up with the evolution of the book. It saw no other way out than planning to retreat. Sorry. <laughs> the little ugly horse had grown out to be a big and beautiful horse, and it continued to make books and browsers of all kinds. The publisher had taken a chance with the horse, but the horse had definitely proven its worth, and it made it possible for the publisher and teachers and students to use the content they liked in any way they liked. This is the end of the little story about the little ugly horse that grew up to be a beautiful horse, 
but it's just the beginning of us using something we actually do call the horse for publishing content about anything as books and browsers. Thank you. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs>